them bass layers were out here in Folsom, California, Willow Hill Reservoir. I, uh, when I was a kid, I used to build houses with my dad, and we put a lot of the stairs and decks and houses and around these houses in this area. And this place was, the, the high school wasn't here at the time, and it was just a, a pond, and my friends used to fish it when we were kids, but I didn't fish back then. I just started fishing like eight or nine years ago. So we're out here, still smoky from all the fires, California right now. And uh, this water out here is up really high. I've got my biggest fish out of here when the water's like this. I work along the back side of the reeds. I don't even cast out into the open. I work the back side of these reeds. See how high the water gets up behind there? the big bass will get back up in there. When it's this high, I've actually caught a few really good fish in this side thing right here. <clears throat> it was one year during the spawn, the water was up really high and the fish got in here. Now I've had this idea with this place because the city is supposed to put another dock on the other side of this place and they're actually supposed to build a booth right here. They're gonna build a booth and they're gonna have some other kind of thing right here and I think they're going to build like a, um, I've seen plans for it on the internet. They're going to have the little paddle boats so you can paddle boat through here. So I think they're going to clear this whole area out, all these reeds and all this stuff. Because I've actually had my own idea since they're not doing anything and they should have already because I know they got the funding to do it. Was I wanted to come out here and chop all the reeds out right there and actually make this part of the pond again because years back it was part of the pond. And the big fish used to get over there. And they could get over there when the water was low, but they can't get over there now. Um, anyway, Willow Hill Reservoir, <clears throat> Urban Bass Layers 2018. I just got a raise at work, and we had some prevailing wage jobs, so I had a big paycheck, and uh, I went and bought a new GoPro. It's at my house charging, and it was about like 15% charging on the battery, and Rich hit me up to come fish. So me and Richard are coming out here. I'm using my old GoPro. 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 <laughs> I can never say it right. Anyway, her best lives. Clear water fishing. Gonna use the old uh, hand poured Senkos again. Those used to be a watermelon color and they've been sitting in my side room for so long that they turned colors on me. Um, my other ones, they didn't change color and they're still watermelon. But for some reason, these ones and a few other ones that I did, they just changed color. It's kind of weird. But I like the color. It's something the fish haven't seen. So, they're bass layers. I find it really ironic that a Senko is like the number one bait for bass fishing in the world. This thing, this weird little wiggly, wobbly piece of plastic, piece of plastic yeah. can be hooked so many different ways. Drop shotted, Texas rigged, Carolina rigged. Um, you can peg it, you can not peg it, you can throw them weightless, you can throw them wacky rigged. Um, I mean, you can neg rig them. You can put them on shaky heads. I've seen people take them sideways and put them on uh, the backs of jigs. Uh, I've seen people put them on spinners. What else? The spinner worm. <laughs> yep. Oh, the spinner worm, yep. Um, I've even taken these and taken a little uh, spring, put a spring in the bottom and put a little blade on it or put a blade in the back and have the blade spinning out of the back. I mean, what can't you do with the Senko? Put rattles inside of them. Um, so, I recycle all my baits, like all the soft plastics I have. Um, most of them are stuff that I find off the ground. That's how I started my bait uh, making adventure. I was just picking stuff off, up off the ground and uh, fishing with it. And taking it home and I found out how to recycle stuff watching YouTube videos, which I have a bunch of. Uh, recycling baits and making new stuff. Um, I don't know. I kind of want to start focusing on 
catching stuff on stuff that I make. So like these Senkos, the last couple of videos, um, yeah, stuff that I'm hand making, handmade Senkos. It's hot out here, man, it's smoky. We are stomping around the backside to where Rich has been catching them. I wanted to go check that side out. And I made, you know, made him a little mistake in my mind because you don't really want to fish history when you're fishing. And what I did was I tried to fish history over there and go back where I got bites like a couple years ago. You don't do that. You go fish the moment. You fish where the fish are at and you fish where you know the fish are because they always move and the structure always changes. The grass always changes. Um, water fluctuation. Uh, water went up about three feet in this pond. Um, <laughs> I missed some good footage of Rich catching one off the point over there. Um, anyway. So I had this little epiphany here with uh, my camera and uh, it's kind of like a dog when a dog gets older and you know dog's not dead yet it's you know it's getting older and uh, it's had a good life it's done a lot of good it's been there for me it's good times and bad times and uh, you know can't, can't just uh, kill the dog yet can't go put him down yet he's still got some good time left in him. But uh, there's always a time when you can go out and you can buy yourself a new dog, a new puppy, to accompany the old puppy. So I went out and I got me a new puppy. And this puppy is nice. It's a nice puppy. So my old dog is still going to do some old dog tricks. I'm going to be setting this old camera up behind me. And uh, probably on a tripod so I can get some more footage, other angles. And then my buddy Rich does not have a GoPro yet, so when I go out and fish with him, 
he'll be able to use this old camera. And Devin just bought the same exact camera I bought right here. And he just bought, I think it was on Amazon Prime, like a whole kit of all kinds of uh, head mounts, chest mounts, like like all kinds of different mounts and stuff. So yeah, like I was, came up with a little uh, thing there for the uh, camera. My new dog, my old dog, my dogs. <laughs> This thing's awesome. I've been messing around with it today. Voice activated. It's just the $200 GoPro Hero. It's the regular one. I was going to get the 5 or the 6, but I really, I don't think I'll ever film in 4K. I mean, I probably will in the future, but right now, with all the stuff I'm putting out, I'm trying to put out as much content as I can and at a high rate of speed. So, downloading in 4K, like the video I just put out the other day, is a 20 minute video. And it took me almost three days to edit that thing because I kept messing up when I was doing my final edits. And since it's 20 minutes long and I'm trying to go through it and get everything dialed in, it's just so so hard to get it all done. So I'm going to try to stick to like smaller videos from now on. It was just, we were at Rancho Marietta, man. We were sticking so many fish. I had, there was the only way to put it all in there was a 20-minute video unless I broke it up into more. But anyway, our bass layers summer is uh, about to start winding down. We got another week of 100 degree days. We got a lot of smoke outside, so it's kind of hard to get out and fish. Uh, yeah. Anyway, new camera. Gonna be getting more content. Gonna have more angles on this stuff. Um, gonna be doing a lot more filming. A lot more uh, getting out on some fish. Gonna be buying some more, some new gear. I need a new pole. I broke a couple eyelets off of my. Uh, Abu Garcia pole when I was out at Rancho Marietta. Anyway, for Messer.